you can't tell by the probable uh, smirk on my face right now, I am so excited. Uh, it, it's not very often anymore I get to unbox stuff that I've literally never touched or that I've been waiting on for basically years at this point. I don't, I don't know that there's any portable consumer electronic that I've waited on longer than this device right here, the Pixel Fold. Um, you've probably, if you're watching this video, you've at least heard about it, you know what's going on here. It's a folding phone, big screen on the inside, uh, usable screen on the outside, and it's got Pixel software on it. I do have a case here too, but I am so wildly excited. This has been sitting on the table this morning since it got here. Uh, I cannot wait to open this thing and see uh, what it feels like to actually hold this device that I've been waiting so, so long uh, to get my hands on because we weren't able to make it out to uh, Google I.O. Uh, back in May. And I know that a handful of people got their hands on this thing for a very limited amount of time, but now this one's here for us to review. It literally just got here. Again, you can see I have not opened this thing up, so every bit of reaction you get here is gonna be raw. Hopefully it's a good reaction. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be. Uh, but yeah, this is this is Google's first take on a folding phone, and we know more are coming. There are other devices that are coming. OnePlus is getting ready to drop one too, uh, but uh, I am very, very excited to have a folding phone that will have this kind of camera system on it and what looks like uh, amazing build quality. But you know what? Just because it's fun to heighten the anticipation, let's let's open the case first. Um, see if there's anything I can do to not destroy this box. Maybe. Oh, good. There we go. All right. And a big reveal time here. What's cool about this is it, it real quick, I at least get to know kind of what the size of the phone's gonna actually feel like. Because I, again, I've, re I've read about, I've written about, talked about this phone for so long, for so, so long. Uh, let's see, yeah, so this has some adhesive liners too, uh, like most foldable phone cases do. Um, yeah, you peel those things off. We'll, we'll do that after this video. I'm not gonna mess with that now, but you get a good idea of what in the hand this phone is gonna look like. And so uh, I've got my Pixel 7 Pro here for reference, and it uh, obviously is nowhere near as big as that uh, in the hand, one-handed use, but it's nice and wide. And I love the idea of that because it basically is gonna give me a very usable one-handed experience when I don't want to open up the screen. And then when I do, I get this nice, massive tablet size experience. It'll be about this big, which is super exciting. But yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of that new uh, uh, material they've got that they did for the 7a so uh, it's been possible for you to see this but this is still like that kind of slick material that i don't particularly care for uh, i like the cases i just i feel like it's really slick this has like that grip to it i love that and for a phone that's this expensive remember it's 1799 dollars uh, you definitely want a case that's gonna be able to stay in your hand but let's move on to this i've been waiting for this moment man a long time i mean we've been talking about this phone for two years, maybe longer than that. Um, I've tried foldable phones. I've tried the, the Galaxy Z Fold and the Galaxy Z Fold 3, and the outer screen was what killed me with those. The Samsung software is not great, uh, so that's a, a big perk here. Uh, a, a usable outside screen that's wide enough to do like normal stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and open this. Ah, there it is. Like, it's really hard for me to believe it's here. <laughs> I just can't, I can't believe I actually have it here. Uh, I've, I've waited for this thing for so, so long. Um, let's see. And, get that out of there. Wow. Yeah, that feels as good as it looks. Substantial, definitely not light, um, but good, like balanced. Uh, it doesn't feel like awkward or weird in my hand. The, the Z Fold uh, phones that I used before, like they're so thin and they're very, very heavy. Uh, I don't know that they're any heavier than this, but since they're so thin, I don't know, it felt weird. Um, it's not a wild difference between the two here. So I really like that, obviously. And then the build quality, I mean, this thing just looks and feels like luxurious. Uh, you got kind of the soft touch, uh, uh, gloss, or not glossy, but uh, matte finish kind of glass on the back here, which looks just fantastic i hope it's doing it justice on camera man this thing is pretty and gosh the sides of that look how thin so this this is not a thick case but i mean look how thin comparatively it is with the pixel 7 pro and this is basically two phones 
uh, squished in half. And, and it's more pronounced down here where there's no camera hump. Uh, but I might have to, let's see, I'm going to try to power it on real quick just to see if we get any juice here. It is going to turn on. All right. And you just see real quickly how wide uh, that screen is. And are, are we good with exposure? It's probably going to be blown out. Once I get, once we get in here, I'll be able to turn it down just a little bit. And we might just break away real quick just so I can set up so I can actually show you something other than set up screens. But while it's booting up, whew, man, that thing just feels that feels so good, um, and it should. Google took their time making this thing. Hopefully, they've thought about all of this stuff uh, leading up. And I know you're waiting for me to open this thing up, but I at least want to let the software uh, kind of load and get going here. Real quick, in the box, what do we got here? This feel like they have stuff in them. They're heavy. You know, you feel like you should get like everything with a phone that costs this much. Oh man, it's just more box. Probably the same thing on the other side. Oh well, that's just padding. That is like really heavy cardboard. Oh, your basic stuff there. And then charging cable. I mean, this is straight up Pixel. Uh, you got a USB-C cable, obviously. Um, you've got a USB-A to C adapter. And honestly, I feel like with a phone that's expensive, you should get a charging brick. That's just me. Um, but I think you should have a charging brick with a phone that costs this much but it does not come with one. Uh, you're getting the same stuff you would normally get with any other Pixel phone. So that is what it is. But as you can see, welcome to your Pixel. My guess is when we crack this open, yeah, full screen there, welcome to your Pixel. So let me get in here and set this up because again, I, I don't want to talk about this with welcome to your Pixel on the screen the entire time. I'd like to at least have it logged in so we can kind of show you around the home screen and stuff. So let's break away real quick. I'll get this thing set up and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. All right, so I've now spent, what, a grand total of like 10 minutes with this thing, but I can tell you I love it. I love everything about it. The The use of the outer screen is what I've wanted in a foldable for a, a long time. You know, it's, it's not a huge screen, but it's wide enough to do simple things like sending a text message. Oh, sorry, I haven't logged into that yet. I'll just click into that so the keyboard comes up. Like that keyboard is completely usable versus a really tiny thin screen where the keys are all squished together. It's been just super comfortable to type on. So for answering a text message or doing a quick search query, that's no big deal on this screen. And I won't feel the need when I pull it out of my pocket to open the whole thing up. And that just changes the way that you go about using a device like this. But when it's closed up, I mean, this is pretty standard pixel fare. Like there's nothing that different about what they're doing with the software here. I mean, if you've used a pixel phone, you're right at home. Obviously the change comes whenever you go to open this thing up. And one thing I figured out already is that, so say you set your, this is your, kind of your home screen on your main phone. Uh, this is your second home screen. It's just going to put those two side by side and then your next two side by side and so on and so forth. So, you know, as you're laying your phone out for the big screen, you can kind of keep that in mind for the outer screen as well. It's kind of one and the same. Um, you can dock just like you can on Android tablets. You can dock things down here so I can bring it down into that space. If you leave any of them open, it kind of auto generates that kind of with that thick circle there, it'll auto generate what it thinks you might want to be doing next. So similar to in your app tray on a pixel phone where it kind of has some, uh, some suggestions up here at the top. Uh, it'll do that down there at the bottom. Uh, and that's just part of the kind of the Pixel tablet experience. Uh, I have had my hands on the Pixel tablet and so I can confirm it's a, a very similar way of going about and uh, doing all your UI and moving things around. The same is true. So if I go say here and I go up and click split, then I can pick another app. We'll go Google News. They will split next to each other. You can drag that divider line, no big deal. And then uh, if I go into my multitask view now, they're kind of connected together at the hip until I, until I do one of these numbers and close that all the way out. And now they're no longer connected. And so, you know, all the stuff that you would expect it to do from a multitasking standpoint, it's doing, and it feels very tabletish uh, in this setup. The screen looks gorgeous. And yes, there is a crease in the middle. If I kind of, I'm sure if I do this number somewhere in one of these two cameras, uh, we'll get that. That's just the way foldable phones are. I've used them before and even using this for just a couple minutes, it literally just kind of disappears. You don't really see it or notice it, uh, but you're getting a 120 hertz screen on the inside as well as the outside. Um, we already launched the camera and did the little trick so you can, let me hit the button here. So yes, I want to switch screens and you'll see 
Now this is my viewfinder here, so I can use my big cameras for selfie pictures. So I'm pointing it right at Joe, take a picture of him, and I'm using my main shooter in order to do that. Uh, and then when you're done, just click that, and you flipped right back around to your inner screen. Uh, not always what you need to do for uh, a selfie. I mean, it's got a selfie camera up here, obviously. Um, and so if I switch just to there, you can see the selfie cam is uh, is working, and then there is a selfie cam on the front as well. Uh, if you're wanting to use those, they're fine too. Uh, but ultimately, you know, if you want to really get that awesome selfie, you want that really wide shot. Um, I don't even have the specs on the the front cameras. I think they're 13 megapixels uh, on on both of the selfie shooters. Um, I don't have all those specs in front of me. Literally, I just wanted to get it out of the box and and kind of get my reaction to this thing um, initially because. I've waited so long uh, for this device. There's so many things I want to try and test. I will say the uh, the fingerprint scanner works very quickly. Uh, so I think I put this thumb in. Yeah. So if I click the power button and just touch, it opens right up. It's a capacitive fingerprint scanner, nothing under the screen. So that means it's going to work really well. Um, if for whatever reason you have it open and you lock your screen, obviously it works there too. So if I click. And just touch. So basically, as soon as you click that power button, if you've registered that finger uh, as the fingerprint, it just unlocks immediately. So I love to see that. Uh, for those of you asking about and thinking about the, the bezels on this thing, yes, it does have sizable bezels on the top and bottom. Um, until I just thought to mention it, I haven't even thought about them. So they've not been a problem. The screen is just kind of mesmerizing to look at. And when you're doing things like, I don't know, reading a book with, you know, the dual sided pages, that is just a really cool thing to do. I read books a lot on my phone. This takes that whole thing to another level. Uh, I love that. I do want to hear the speakers. I haven't even listened to the speakers yet, so I'm going to pull up one of our videos real quick. So let me crank this up. With Google TV, and though it looks a lot like its predecessor, nice and loud, and has the same price, twenty bucks for it's a louder and fuller box. than some Chromebooks we've tested. Google TV uh, so we're really wait to this. Uh, to see. Once we plug it in, wait to this intro track rolls like here. Google's own Chromecast with Google TV. Not sure. Let's check it out. Quite good. Um, I don't know that I would say they're like the best speakers I've ever heard on any phone. Uh, they're up there. That's that's really nice. It's a really nice stereo uh, experience. And obviously, you know, if you're watching content on a screen, this is a landscape screen, but it's still pretty squarish. So you're going to get some of the, uh, the, the black bars on the top and the bottom. Uh, but it's going to be a great tablet for putting in some headphones and watching content. Um, another thing I'll address real quick, um, some of the early hands-on, they said it didn't fold flat. It, I don't guess it does. You can push it all the way to being flat. Um, I can stretch it. It'll go there. But I, I want to say they, they Google said, yeah, it's best for the screen for it to be just ever so like it's, it feels like it's like 179 degrees maybe or something. Uh, holding it, even when it's quote unquote not flat, it doesn't feel not flat. Uh, that makes sense. It still feels completely flat in my hand. So, but when I look at it, I mean, it may be just shy. Those early hands on, it looked like it was sitting like this to me. Um, that's just not the case. It is ever so, maybe one degree shy of being wide open, but closing it, you get that nice reaffirming sound when it closes, which is really nice. Uh, and it just feels so, so nice, so premium, so well put together. Uh, even little things like the, the corners down here, you know, when you're holding it in one hand, you know, a lot of times with foldables, they won't really think about that part right there. And so when it's digging into your hand, it's almost annoying to hold it one handed. Not the case here, it's ever so slightly rounded. Like using this doesn't feel very weird in a one-handed mode. And so this now becomes, a, I have a small smartphone in my pocket and when I'm ready to have a tablet to play some games, consume some content, then I can move to this inner screen and take advantage of those things while also not sacrificing Pixel software or Pixel cameras on the back. Obviously we gotta test those things, but I have no doubt these cameras will be top notch. The speakers sound great, Tensor G2, uh, 12 gigs of RAM, uh, 256 gigs of internal storage. I mean, this thing's a beast in every way, shape, and form. And I can't wait to start using it um, and to get into a review process with this thing because this is the type of phone I've been after for a long, long time. And just from the early, early hands-on I've had here with it just in these few minutes, I can tell you it, it, it already is meeting the expectations that I've had for it. Uh, it's first blush, obviously. I need to spend time with it. 
Um, I do love that it closes completely flat, uh, which is also nice. It reminds me of the uh, Surface Duo. Um, I just have, I have so much to say about this phone um, and so many things I need to try and experiment with and all that kind of stuff. But man, first impressions are just fantastic. It's, it's everything I hoped it would be. Um, it just feels really, really well made, really awesome. Can't wait to spend more time with it. But for now, that is it for this one. If you like this video and want to see follow-up videos like it, please get subscribed. Give us a thumbs up. Head down there. Hit that uh, the, the notification icon as well if you want to be alerted when those types of videos come out in the future. And until next time, we'll see you.